Dilberg's hottest breakfast show. Hot Cares was approached by advocate John Bedo to assist with sponsoring a fence for the Vitkoppen Primary School. I just found out today, Sash, interesting fact that the Vitkoppen Primary School was built in 1945. No way. Uh-huh. Really? 43. 43. 43. Look at that. Even older. Gee, we're Just as old as Advocate John Bedo. <laughs> yes, that's a good to be here this morning it's with good you. Good to have you here, Advocate. I'm feeling very young today. <laughs> John, why did you nominate uh, Vitkoppen Primary School? Look, it's a wonderful uh, institution. They do an incredible work with our youth in our area, and uh, we know that uh, there was a great need there for an improved security for the for the children. And uh, we knew the headmaster, Mr. Sam McCarma, who's been an incredibly faithful student to those, uh, incredibly faithful servant to those students and he really 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 put out an, an appeal and we felt we need to help fantastic also in studio today we've got graham Salvador. he is from paul's gates as well as a good friend uh, debbie combrink from monte casino always a pleasure hey, everybody hey, debbie. Ooh, that's quite a welcome thank <laughs> you <laughs> that's quite a welcome so uh we contacted um monte casino as well as paul gate paul's gates debbie how much are you giving us uh, for this project so Lloyd, we're very proud to have donated 60,000 Rand to this project. We, wow. As, as a, a, a big contributor in the local community, I think it's important that we were you know, part of this fantastic initiative. So really a huge thank you for the wonderful opportunity. Brilliant. And we managed to get a hold of Graham from Paul's Gates. There was still a shortfall and we didn't know how we were going to come up with the money uh, because there was a labor cost involved that we needed to put a pot from the fencing. There was a gate that needed to go in as well. And uh, Graham came to the party. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, as you're aware, we're on a major drive to uplift this whole community and, and work together with our community. So it was another opportunity for us and yeah, we jumped at it. I've, I've worked closely with uh, Jean Bordeaux on a lot of projects over the years and uh, we seem to work well together so it was synergy once again and uh, very happy to be a, a part of this Graham why is it not called Graham's Gates why is it called <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is all very confusing so, so sure we've had this conversation but it's, so, it's so confusing man just Graham stick, from Paul's Gates stick to security <laughs> solutions <laughs> alright Paul security listen Graham. it's security solutions at there least the go. community didn't take offence they took the gate oi oi we can get you in for our dad jokes <laughs> don't here. get him started oi. Don't, don't, don't get him started Maybe please we should get him on park at, at Parker's on a Friday <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sam, tell me a little bit about the school. Yeah, the school was uh, established in 1943. It started at, uh, you know, near Foy's uh, mall there, uh, host in a, in a, in a two-bedroom be- two house owned by Dr. Snyder. And then in 1943, it moved to where it is today, where Vet Copen School is. Wow. And then it has about, it registered 97 learners by then. With the headmaster who started, uh, who didn't start, but he came after, and then the school has been going on since 1943. Uh, I think I'm the sixth headmaster there. There has been uh, quite a number of people, about five of them, who stayed at the school. Some stayed for a short period. I stayed longer. Like Mr. Matro, who was my predecessor, started uh, uh, stayed for 30 years, and then I also. Stayed wow. for 30 years. Have you been there 30 years already? Yeah, 30 years, yeah. That's so incredible. incredible. Wow, that's wonderful. So I've been in the area before uh, Paul could make it, uh, Graham could make a donation. <laughs> I've, I've met him some years back. <laughs> I, I, I know him. He, we once had uh, some negotiation before. And then I'm also had uh, a st- uh, assisted in the establishment of uh, the, the police station, the Douglasdale Police Station. I was a member of the CPF, and then I was also a member of the Zeve Fundin community. Monte Casino has done quite a lot for us. Wonderful. Yeah, they've given us, you know, our kids used to go to the best garden. They've donated lots of stuff to us. They've donated even cash and then even stationery. So we've benefited a lot. I mean, this is what it what it's all about, you know. Hot cares. We are community station. Mm-hmm. This is very much within our, our area, and it's just wonderful that we can all get together and and uplift and, and keep because you know the maintenance especially of a school is very very difficult so mm. 
these things need uh, constant um, um, attention. And we believe that Sam has made a meaningful difference in the lives of those around us, as well as Graham from Paul's Gates and Debbie and our friend uh, advocate John Bedoso. So thank you very much for being involved with Hot Cares and making a meaningful difference in the lives of those around us. We spoke about the 60,000 Rand that's coming in from Monte Casino. There was a shortfall and Graham from Paul's Gates is putting in that shortfall in terms of labour and uh, all the equipment that's required to get this up and running and we're going to have new gates and fences uh, within the next couple of weeks at the Vitkoppen Primary School. Advocate John Bedell, thank you very much for your nomination. Mm. And uh, Sam, is there anything else that's required? Anything that our community can assist with? Yeah, there's quite a number of things that we need. Particularly, we want to give the school a facelift. You know, it is all those uh, structures that were built in the in the 40s and the and the 50s. And then we we I have plans before I I, le- I, I I left the school. I thought maybe if we could put up uh, new classrooms four down and then the others on top so about eight classrooms that i'm envisaging hmm. to to have in the school there's quite a, and then the field the sports field also it's it's worn out it needs regressing that those are the things and then you know we need the participation of of all stakeholders community people yep. to assist the school if you'd like to assist, all you have to do is send an email to hotcares at hot919.co.za. Uh, before we wrap this thing up, uh, Debbie, anything new happening at Monte Cassino for Christmas? Well, we're very excited this week, Wednesday. Our fourth annual Christmas Village opens. Uh, we had over 65,000 people through the doors last year, so it's a fantastic event. There's just under 60 exhibitors. There's open air movies in the piazza for the kids, everything from Frozen to Sing to Trolls. So, yes, really just uh, an invite to the community to come down and come and, and do a little bit of Christmas shopping in our traditional Christmas Village. Fantastic. Wonderful. Um, thank you, everybody who's uh, contributed. I can't wait. I live very close to, to the school and it's always buzzing with uh, wonderful kids. So now they're going to be safe and secure in better conditions. going to be wonderful. Thank you to everybody who's involved and participating to make uh, Vidkopen uh, Primary School even better. Thanks all for coming through. Of thank course, you. we will do Hot Cares again next Monday right here on Hot 91.9. Zilberg's hottest breakfast show. Sasha Martiningo. Andy Levy. John Wallen. Simon Hill. Weekdays from 6 to 9. Hot 91.9.